This is Alin from Trimax Solutions with another top 10 list idea on behalf of my clients. And this idea, it's all about improving the diagnostic um, for identifying the factor of slowdown when dealing with large assemblies or large drawings, especially when using meshed components, mesh bodies. Uh, nowadays, SolidWorks allows you to insert mesh bodies and it's so, so useful because there are so many out there that you can download from various supplier websites. So for example, right now I have this uh, assembly and I'm going to try to create a drawing. Um, let's, let's do that right now. And you can see I'm getting a nice warning. Mesh bodies may not be properly uh, displayed in the drawing. So that's good, good information. The question is, how do I find those mesh bodies? First of all, let's, let's create the drawing and see how bad things can be when you have a mesh body in the drawing. Right, so um, I don't know. I'm just going to get a front view and maybe uh, that, that's the only one I want. From here, I'm going to try to... Oops, look at that. Would you like to create draft quality drawing views? Wow, it means I cannot create high quality drawing views. That's crazy. If I try to do a section view right now, oh my god, it's going to be really, really bad, right? So let's create a section view. Uh, you can see the quality is bad. Uh, if I save this file, it's going to take forever to save. Uh, if I'm trying to create um, a PDF file, so if I try to save this to PDF, oh, I cannot even do that, right? So, oh my god, I keep getting the warnings. This is good that SolidWorks warns me that something is wrong in SolidWorks 2024. This is good, right? So if I'm trying to save this as a PDF, let's take a look at the quality of, of this uh, PDF file. Right, you can see how bad it is because, as expected, this is draft quality view. Uh, if I try to save this file, so let me save it right now, getting the same warning. Let's see how long it's going to take to save the file. The question is, how do I find the problem? If I switch to the assembly, um, I don't know, maybe use the check tool. Great tool for uh, finding lots of problems with topology. Okay, let's try stringent solid surface check even. Check. Nothing is wrong. Okay, well, the other thing I know is that we have filters. Uh, and one of the filters is for filtering mesh facets. So, you know what, let's uh, turn this to uh, hidden lines visible. Oh, look at that. Graph quality edges are required to show all graphics body. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if I can select this. No, nope. even though I use the filter, it selects everything. What's with these filters? The filters don't work properly. Anyway, that's another, another idea. So um, how do I find the actual problem? Can I get a little diagnostic tool, maybe add it as part of the check tool that can single out mesh bodies uh, can i search for mesh bodies can we add something here that's going to allow solidworks to do searching just to just to pinpoint where the problem is because on a large assembly it took me quite a lot of time by simply suppressing 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 and going back to the drawing to see what's come what's happening uh to find the issue okay so let's um uh, since we are getting more into this new world of 3d printing and using mesh geometry Let's make sure that we have the tools that allow us to work safely and fast and with no impact on productivity. Thank you very much.